Hello, and welcome back. This video, the fourth of a series detailing the differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11, will cover a key Windows user navigation feature, Windows Snap. Sizing and moving Windows around the screen and getting a good arrangement is more of a learned art form than an exact science. Previous versions of Windows tried to adjust this challenge by providing organizing options like Cascade Windows, Show Windows Stack, Show Windows Side by Side. Since those options rarely provided any real organizing benefit and don't align with tablet use, Windows 11 has removed them. And in keeping with the Windows snapping feature introduced with Windows 7, Windows 11 has introduced some usability enhancements. As with Windows 10, the current snapping behaviors apply. To snap a window to one half of the screen or the other, drag it to the left or drag it to the right. To snap a window to a particular quadrant of a screen, drag it to the upper left, the upper right, the lower left or the lower right. To maximize the window to the entire screen, drag it to the top. To quickly snap a window without having to remove your hands from the keyboard, use the key combinations Windows Logo plus left arrow to snap to the left, Windows Logo plus right arrow to snap to the right, Windows Logo plus up arrow to maximize, and Windows logo plus down arrow to minimize to the taskbar. With the window snapped to one side or the other, the Windows logo, left or right key, whichever is opposite, will snap the window back to its original unsnap position. While using the keyboard shortcuts, continuing snapping in any direction, left or right, will cycle the window from one side or the other and back to the original position as if it was in a rotating cylinder. Snapping to either the left or the right, followed by Windows logo up arrow, will place the window in that quadrant. Maximizing, followed by Windows logo up arrow, will resize the window to the upper half of the screen. Notice when the window is snapped to the left or right of the screen, Windows will suggest snapping one of the other open windows to the opposite side. This is called Snap Assist. To cancel Snap Assist, click an empty area or hit the Escape key. When two windows are snapped side by side, the user can readjust the ratios by dragging the dividing line between them. Notice how the line takes on a handle look. Moving the dividing line in either direction will resize both snap windows accordingly. The same behavior applies when three or four windows are snapped in various configurations. Windows 11 approves upon a snapping feature by presenting to the user six snapping options called Snap Layouts when the mouse pointer is hovering over the Maximize Restore button. The key combination, Windows Logo Z activates the Snap Layout menu for the activated window. Notice there are two triple pane options. The top option where the three panels are equally sized and the bottom option where the middle panel is slightly larger. With Windows snapped in triple pane mode, performing secondary snapping functions allows for additional configurations. Using Snap Assist to snap three windows in triple pane mode, grabbing and dragging the middle pane to either side of the screen will snap the window to consume the left two-thirds or the right two-thirds of the screen. In triple pane mode, snapping a window to either corner of the screen will snap the window to one-sixth of the screen and Snap Assist will allow snapping another window above or below. The triple pane options are useful for monitoring system resources and performance with System Monitor, Task Manager, or other monitoring tools and are beneficial for users of very wide monitors. And of course, the Snap feature works intuitively with multiple monitors.
the Windows Snap and Snap Assist features are useful for traditional computing platforms and other devices such as phones, tablets, touch monitors, and other hepatic devices. Windows 11 expands on Windows Snap with its introduction of Snap Layouts. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and share with those close to you. I welcome your feedback. Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts or suggestions. And thank you for watching. Thank you.